What's up stacking dogs and fat frogs today I want to share with all of you except the scum of the earths who play Yumi how I plan to make this ratchet rift my bit female dog by rushing death's dance first item so let's break this down. Bot lane typically consists of at least one enemy identifying as someone who sticks to the right clicks to do damage, and early armor is the Blastoise to physical damage dealer's Charizard which means you will be countering your lane antagonists early. It also ups your pain tolerance which yeah is a bit less arousing as ranged but this defy action is why it becomes the bee's knees. If you can kill a Betty you get a fat swanky Jane heal for the amount of your bonus AD, something that AD Kizzy's build a lot of, not to mention this effect creates a roided triumph proc which is perfect for those lane game 2v2s early, so on any champ that his ability resets on kills this becomes 200 IQ points and if you don't believe me just ask one of the most decorated solo Q ADC players in the industry. For please tell the people how strong rushing death stands first item is on ADCs, are you f***ing crazy? Nuts? Bonkers, man? What, who are you rushing death stands first item on? Jesus Christ, you he would do zero damage with that. I'm not we could please pull up Plaintiff's Exhibit 1259. Yeah. I mean, it sounds like it would help you win lane, but skills like... Overloaded kids. Oh. Sorry can't hear you over how badly I'm scaling late in the second game. You ah ha you may be master, but I've got all the info I need to climb. From face check that is. League of Legends without face check is like Blue's Clues without Steve's handy dandy notebook, quite frankly it's cancelable. It gives you a window that fits nicely next to the blob of untested code Riot calls a client and tells you things like who the top bands are this patch for your role and it looks like the lady from the lantern will be sitting on the bench in this one. It then gives you a quick creeper scouting report on your team so when you get filled bottom and you see that your mid is an ADC main you can shoot your shot only for them to reveal that they'd rather int instead. Your rune page entitled Big Titty Big Damage won't work here so you just abuse this button to set all that up for you instantly. Then it's like a private investigator in loading screen telling you all the dirty secrets about every player in the game notice how I'm stacking more green tags than anyone else. Bruh. And how I'm totally gonna diff this Kaisa in game. Just listen to this face check testimonial. I was bronze before using face check and now I'm silver with a girlfriend who plays Lulu. Damn dude that's amazing and after the game it gives you the rugged rundown of all the ways you were better than your lane made and things to work on in future games so use my link below right this second to get face check for free and let's get into my dance with death. Alright so I opted to try this on the little hopping tricks are for kids bitch game 1 to get healy boy enemas up my poop hole alone with jump resets, Nami makes them say nani with a double bubble which I can't capitalize on call me a broken shift key, but it gets them too low to do anything useful when our fiddle gets found out so I go full blown melee mode check my ADC guide on OnlyFans which sends the goat ram back to Narnia. Then this Samira must have had strict parents because she was dead set on nothing but improving her grades but pre-6 it's just like the real world where grades don't mean shit when nipples and pissed in bathwater are more lucrative careers than 9 to 5 so she dies. At this point I've purchased a hammer and a vest of chain and you may be thinking wow that is the stupidest thing I've seen since Amber Heard's testimony but what you don't realize is the armor allows me to hop straight into danger suspend myself in the air bask in the glory and then double down on the duel with this petty goat. At this point Samira has a choice where she can walk away from the crime scene and wake up tomorrow blissfully ignorant but she opts to deep throat the red pill instead which thanks to my armor gets her killed hashtag couldn't be me. Side note the enemy spirit blossom windshitter did come down because our echo was preoccupied picking lint out of his own useless asshole alone I guess which sucked for us until you consider the fact that their support felt the need to be involved in the homicide which unnecessarily got him fish cucked and towered. Oh and once everyone got over the hype of rubbing their little limp piss dicks in my backyard and left I was able to pull up plaintiffs exhibit A and title armor up the anus as I have more patience than a thriving physician before blowing my bomb and snatching the solo bolo. I now have my first item death's dance and my favorite dance is the twerk tilter which I attempt to do before avoiding getting ram stamped and watching the carbonated cucks float peacefully as the precursor to me firing dog dick shaped bullets at them with one final big boy for the kill. Anyways I decide to do the thing where he knows that I know that he knows that I'm jerking off in the grass but he still scans anyway before getting startled off like I'm some kind of monster so I run in there dancing with death because of death's dance only to get juked so hard you could box me up put quarters in my ass and request songs as he lays dead on the ground. 
And the stomp is getting so easy and boring that I have to start some drama showing off this photo I have of their Diana at my boy's bachelor party she was drunk going full moon and I'm not talking about her lore I'm talking about her bare flappy ass cheeks and sure enough she's not a fan of me spreading that story and I guess murder is her choice of revenge but you have to remember that this recon couldn't even learn to tie his own shoes until he was in 11th grade that poor bastard so I let him be by his friends one last time with a merciful blow back before hopping my big ass head in to kill him collect my reset then front flip again to kill off Captain Jacqueline Sparrow as well. Now at this point I was wondering how their Diana was not worth shut down as you can see she was 4 and 0 oh, so if anyone can politely explain it that'd be helpful because apparently I'm just stupid for asking that, as you see I then killed her and collected her non-existent bounty to which I reiterate my curiosity only to realize that I'm dealing with one of those apes in a biological testing facility who had been given access to keyboards but don't have the intelligence to make any fucking sense, so in me trying to clarify my question to this brainless sack of Cheetos I neglected positioning and thus got dived got the double and then ultimately got the dub. So the Tris DD rush was GG and I was ready to hop into game 2 on my homegirl Samira. Now if you use that softcore porn app called TikTok you've probably seen that trend that's like always keep them guessing or some shit and I swear that's what my support was doing here as she hit an unannounced flash into curb stomp combo then right when I think it's over she hits that dual leap a 180 sword swan dive straight back and so naturally I think we are committing at this point only for her to piss off. This presents the perfect opportunity for Karma to try and be a bitch no pun intended as I punish her hard for getting up in my business and then if it wasn't for 16 dozen hoodlums spitting on me I would have been reset Ronda with the double. But all we really needed to do was have that armored sun slut protract her gold stick hand onto thunder thighs and I could follow up just mashing my head onto my keyboard until one of them was dead and the other one was running away from the lunatic with the S over her head. Every time that Wing Ding thought she could whip shit at our hooded midget employees we'd set up a flash curb stomp into a dash kaisa chomp which gave me an ult but I apparently have an edge fetish so I wait until it's an awful time to bust the nut and then cut the scene before I escape without a scratch. At this point I have death's dance which means Leo can do all the work and I can promptly make a few thousand people wonder if the E key on my keyboard is broken cause my eyes were on a bigger prize which was failing to break a tether with my W bullshit ability, just so that I could draw out the chick with the floating latissimus dorsi muscles because she was the true target of this sting operation as I finally pushed enough keys to both succeed in my mission and set the record for the longest fight without procking my ult in Samira gameplay history. But here's the deal when I am full build like this and we are showing each other our nipples in the shrubs before Leo busts our cover and I catch a small cold draining the energy out of me. I can just wait for some dank vitamin D to be delivered before I dash in to slap that big ass which arouses a shrapnel orgasm out of me for the double. Then Kaisa was getting the true ADC experience all while Blue Buff was technically getting kidnapped before Karma was getting the half AFK experience as I rode the tantrum tomato with her dead corpse in celebration. Their team's jungler was a literal ape and I guess his previous suit taught him to do the spins in a corner which was ideal because it baited that chick with the giant anime ass cheeks into our trap where I would spin around whipping paper clips at her until she died. Anyways the little forest land gooch between bot lane and blue buff is so jam packed you could call it Lana Rhodes's vagina as we hit the combo that follows the word wombo to kill a kaisa and then collectively say see a later alligator. And you'd think this poor soul would start packing SPF 95 by now because the sun was just absolutely killing her and honestly I don't know how to play this pirate hoe more than anyone on the League of Legends subreddit who claims to know anything about this game. But I was surviving long enough in each fight to give me that scarlet S above my head and to start spitting metal scraps at everyone in the area which was dope as shit and it would have been even doper if I would have actually pushed E every time it reset. But I was still dishing out so much pirate ass damage the black pearl be real quiet right about now to the point where I honestly think death's dance is so overtuned right now, even for ranged, that on champs like Samira I think it should be a part of her core build, especially against an AD heavy dipshit team as by the end of the last team fight I actually learned to dash around like a startled deer which rapidly rump cucked their entire team. So say what you want about the death's dance rush but until Riot opens their eyeballs and tunes it down, I'd give it a try. 0% of you are subbed please change that mom reveal at 500k. Rav out. Don't fuck with Gabby boy I'm in your crib with the blappy boy talk to me slick and I'm popping your pappy. If happy talk back then I'm taking your Grammy and boy oh boy I'll make her happy. Let's go.